Okay, I'll admit, 1987 was a kind of a strange year for the bad guys. Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. And today I'll be taking a look at the 1987 Cobra Commander with Battle Armor. Now, our favorite enemy leader dons this new suit of armor in the old Marvel comic run of G.I. Joe in issue number 58. And he wears this outfit for the first time in the an an animated form in the 1989 de-animated five-part miniseries Operation Dragonfire in part four. There are actually um, three different origins to uh, Cobra Commander being in this battle armor, the comic book, the cartoon, and even the uh, file card all allude to three different things, which is very strange that they're not all coordinated like that. In the comic books, this was an outfit designed by Crimson Guardsman Fred Seven who, if you follow the comic books, uh, kind of shot Cobra Commander in the back and then wore the suit for a good long um, length of the comic book run before Cobra Commander returned to kind of kick his butt. And, but in the cartoon, um, Cobra Commander was turned into a snake during the movie and Operation Dragonfire was mostly about uh, them trying to return Cobra Commander back to humanoid form. So this is actually the first outfit that he gets after being finally turned back into a person. Uh, it's found by Nagahide of all people, and it's alluded to to be one of Cobra Commander's old outfits. So uh, and then, but then on the uh, file card, it, it says that Destro's technicians have built this thing for him to be a you know a protective suit, which makes sense. One interesting thing you'll have to note is um, this is the first time we have Cobra Commander as his code name. This is the third version of Cobra Commander. The first version was Enemy Leader, that was his code name, and his title was Cobra Commander. And the same thing with the second version. However, they switch it around and it's more than just a format change because the um, the format was sort of changed for this sort of thing where they highlight the name and his title would have been in small print whereas it would have been the other way around in previous um, generations of the uh, card format. Version 3 Cobra Commander comes with the following accessories. His primary weapon being this small pistol which the Contents list on the card call an auto assault pistol. I don't believe it's based on anything real world, but it doesn't look fantastical either, so I suppose it could be. Perhaps a heavily modified version of something that uh, uh, I'm not aware of. Interesting that they put this little hook on the front here, which I believe is a finger flip. It's kind of like um, a little um, handhold on machine pistols where you just hold on to there when you're firing in full auto because there's not enough room on the um, on the pistol for a vertical grip or interesting uh, detail he also comes with a hose hooked onto the side of his helmet and this is the part which is um, probably lost the most on um, on these figures it's only a very slightly flexible plastic it's not quite as rubbery as other um, hoses of course you have a little plug there and um, interestingly enough the hole here is open on the bottom so when you put it on the figure you put the mouthpiece plug in here But instead of just pushing it, uh, this end piece directly onto this peg on the side of his head, you, you can just sort of slide it downwards onto the side. And finally, he comes with what the contents list calls a life support backpack. It's 
it's made of a uh, silver plastic so it kind of has these weird streaks in it so quite frankly you will sometimes find these streaks in kind of like an odd pattern so you might want to watch out for that if you uh if you're buying one of these figures on the aftermarket with this accessory and you don't really like the pattern on the back so you do have a choice because that's just sort of the random swirling of the plastic I think one interesting thing about the backpack is um, some people place it this way sort of pointing down and I can kind of understand why because on the card art you can see the sort of like spire sticking out but I believe that's supposed to be uh, his shoulder bits the reason why it's quite obviously supposed to be pointing upwards is because it's contoured with a larger portion on the bottom part here meaning that that's supposed to go to his lower back and thus it's pointing upwards one thing about the uh, design of the figure is the uh, the breathing hose here almost seems to continue down on the sculpted bit on his chest here and then pointing back towards the life support backpack there's some really nice detail on the figure such as the uh, empty holster which is probably where you're supposed to store this thing if this was a working holster but it's not unfortunately he also has a very nicely sculpted Cobra emblem on his belt buckle and of course he's the first Cobra commander to actually have the Cobra symbol on his forehead the way it's depicted in both cartoons and comic book forms I know there's a lot of people out there who are saying oh this guy doesn't look like Cobra commander but there are features of this guy who are directly related to the two previous Cobra commander figures here's the version one and the version two so the light blue hidden behind all his silver armor pieces that comes from this guy and the shape of his helmet that sort of draping down is supposed to mimic the hood on this guy there's actually quite a bit of controversy surrounding the creation of this action figure such as he was released in 1987 so why then in 1986 do we have a Cobra Emperor and a definite end of Cobra Commander as the leader of Cobra and then we have the following year Cobra Commander again some people speculate that this Cobra Commander action figure was actually meant to be somebody else perhaps a troop builder like a pilot or maybe a diver or even a Cobra astronaut or something like that and due to the poor reaction that consumers had to Serpentor they went ahead and just made whoever this was supposed to be Cobra Commander just to sort of appease the consumers and there's still more interesting rumors about this figure such as the 1987 animated movie had come out the same year that this guy was made and yet that movie definitely puts an end to Cobra Commander so what is he doing here in action figure form could it be that Hasbro and Sunbow the animated studio had always planned to bring him back perhaps during the 1987 third season of the cartoon which of course never happened until Deke Animation got hold of it and returned Cobra Commander from snake form into humanoid form just as we see here so it could be that Sumbo had always meant to bring Cobra Commander back just the way that Deke Animation did well that's all the time I have right now please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.